Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardestCP.com. So what I want to do is just give an addendum to this uh, this uh, Ryzen 1700 versus 1700X review. So this is the system here running on air. It is the Gigabyte X370 uh, Gaming 5 and I've actually done almost every bit of our testing on this because this was the one board I had that worked really well. Uh, let's see, we've got our Corsair RAM on there. We've got a Noctua cooler. We are running a, uh, happens to have a Titan X Pascal on it right now. I was running some, um, was running some VR testing on it last night. And uh, so if you look over here, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, the cores and how we have this set up. So in the uh, review, we ran it at 4.25 uh, multiplier, which kicks it right over. Right now, we've got it running at 40 times 100. On this particular board, you'll notice the bus speed stays a hair under 100. So that gives us a, kind of the, the funky slightly below 4 gigahertz speed there, where uh, this RAM is running at... 3000 and let's see the system's been up the system's been up and running for about an hour and it's running uh, the old heaven benchmark on it just so it had some load on it see a temperature right there I guess we can call that a gaming temperature around 45 C so it's doing really well but so one of the things about this is you can um, you can run this processor at a higher load but sooner or later it seems to give out it may give out at 10 minutes it may give out at 30 minutes so there's the that's blender down there in the corner so if we uh come over here get on blender so let's start rendering out you'll see the cpu load shoot up to 100. you can see our temp is already coming way up but the system's not tremendously fragile at all um, it's not like uh, you can you can run this, and if you got a little more load on it, it's it's not going to crater on you all of a sudden. So, it uh, some of the you know in the in the past the Intel systems, you get them they kind of hit the edge and then they're just done. This one's back from the edge, obviously a little bit, but uh, it's not it's not in any way tender or you know you can beat on it some. So it's possible you could run this every single day like this with no problem. Now, if you encode videos for hours and that sort of thing, that's probably not what you want to do. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a, sh uh, a look at it running. And uh, so this system is going out to Brent. And he will be doing some testing on this system. And he'll uh, probably keep this one for a while. So anyway, thanks for watching. It's Kyle at HardOCP.